Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is under investigation for his involvement in two flights carrying migrants from another state, Texas, to a third state, California. The most recent flight touched down on Monday in Sacramento. DeSantis last year acknowledged sending dozens of migrants from San Antonio to Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. The Bear County, Texas Sheriff's Office has filed criminal charges related to the Martha's Vineyard case, and the local district attorney is considering whether to pursue them. The renewed focus on the border comes as the Department of Homeland Security says illegal crossings are down 70 percent since the end of the pandemic era restriction known as Title 42. CBS News' Elise Preston has more. A political firestorm is brewing over groups of migrants that were flown to California's capital. Florida officials say this video provided by their emergency management division shows migrants signing paperwork agreeing to go to California. Human beings are being used as political pawns in someone's political game. Since Friday, two private jets carrying three dozen asylum seekers, mainly from Venezuela, traveled to Sacramento from the Texas border. It's believed many of them had no idea where they were going, despite Florida's claims. California's Attorney General Rob Bonta is now investigating. We believe these individuals were, were lied to, deceived, manipulated, exploited and abused. Uh, it's certainly morally bankrupt and also potentially illegal. Bonta points to a $12 million program in the state that funds the transport of, quote, unauthorized aliens out of Florida. They don't work with migrants or immigrants who ever touch foot and set foot in Florida. They're in Texas. Last year, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis also claimed responsibility for transporting 49 migrants from Texas to Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. Meanwhile, Sacramento's leaders are welcoming the asylum seekers. We will never cower, ever. We'll welcome people. We always have, we always will. And Elise Preston joins me now. Elise, um, expl remind us again. These migrants originated from the Texas border. Can you help us understand how the Florida governor gets them into the California state? Yeah, John, uh, the migrants last year also originated from the Texas border as well when they were sent to Massachusetts. So this $12 million program was actually legislation that uh, Florida legislators uh, passed earlier this year in February that allows the transport of migrants out of Florida, but also in the bill. If you read the bill, it also talks about how that they could transport uh, migrants that were also in other states. And uh, it is believed that this is all that they are going to blue states uh, that that have sanctuary cities. So that's where uh, these migrants are being transported. Now, keep in mind that in the budget, when it talks about this $12 million allotment for the program, this comes right after uh, the budget talks about um, human trafficking and that the, the state of Florida stands against uh, human trafficking. But it's interesting to note that a lot of people are saying that this expansion of the program, critics are saying the expansion of the program is just that, that it is kidnapping. And at least quickly before I have to let you go, you mentioned Sacramento is welcoming these migrants. What exactly is the city, city offering them and for how long? Well, church groups have kind of uh, led that charge. So many of these uh, or all of the asylum seekers are getting uh, housed and fed right now. They're also being connected to medical and legal services. It's not clear exactly how long they'll stay, uh, how long uh, they'll be here in Sacramento. Keep in mind that they do have court dates uh, across the country. So some of them will have to leave at some point to uh, attend a court date. Uh, but you heard the mayor saying that they will not cower. Uh, when we spoke with the attorney general, he said when he met with the folks on Saturday, they were very thankful to be in California. Elise Preston in Sacramento, California. Thank you.